So the um, second fields we looked at, there was one that was in a small grain that Ryan had planted as a winter wheat, I believe. And then we went to another field that had several years prior been in an alfalfa rotation. And just last year, um, Ryan took it out of alfalfa and put it into corn. And so what we were doing there is comparing a field that had been in a perennial crop and field right next to it, which had been in an annual crop production. You know, it really kind of showed the importance of, if possible, integrating those perennials into our cropping system. Um, you know, and if not integrating perennials, certainly it's a, it's a case for having a living root in the soil uh, as much as possible. Um, but we showed good structural differences. Um, the fields that uh, Ryan has had adjacent that were in wheat and just a regular crop rotation, they looked good. If you look at them by themselves, they would say there's been good work that's been done. Um, but then when we compared it to something that's been a perennial system, you could see there's still still a ways to go as far as uh, soil structure and infiltration and soil life. It was a good comparison. I think Ryan could see the, the differences. You could see that, yeah, there's maybe a little bit of work to be done, but he's making good progress and he's doing the right things. And so he sees the potential uh, of where he's trying to go. Any winter wheat field here, um, and it's again in our second or third year at no-till. So we're checking the soil, um, looking for the platiness or compaction. So you can see the layer is pretty evident here. You can see some of the roots are going horizontal once they hit there. You know, not to be unexpected, um, but uh, Ryan's doing the right thing. We got a uh, small grade in here, lots of fine roots to get through those compaction layers. And you can see we got a nice, nice guy helping us out there too. He's popped out the bottom. These fields, uh, you know, if you got those compaction layers, sometimes they can take a few years to let it heal itself. We do know that having small grains in there, having cover crops fall in those small grains, those are ways that we can help mitigate that faster. So this spade right here is from the wheat field we just came out of, so I've been in crop production for quite a few years. This field was in alfalfa for five years prior to 2019, correct? Yep. And then uh, that alfalfa was terminated, um, and then you planted corn directly into this, into that alfalfa, undisturbed, you didn't till it or anything. Yep. Um, and then, like you were saying before, actually there was uh, no nitrogen fertilizer applied after the alfalfa. Or P uh, or K, or or just, just some manure. And you had a really good yield last year, 200 plus. Yep. So, on the corn. What I'd like to show or see here is just look at the comparisons. So this is an alfalfa, perennial crop. Can you see the visual difference between those two? So this is the tip of yours to the line. You're gonna see how it's more crumbly right there. See here, this looks like one solid mass of block yep. of soil. Yep. And so that's where you gotta get the aggregates to start forming. And see, that's what you're trying to do over there. You're trying to get that field to turn into this field. Yep.